Ashness Bridge. Picture postcard pretty. And those familiar with the region will know are in the North Lakes. An area full of iconic landmarks. Surprise view. Stunning. Lodore Falls. Spectacular. The Bowder Stone. Massive. And controversial. Across the lake is Cat Bells, one of the most popular walks in the lakes, but it's not where we're heading. Oh, the walk I'm taking today used to be as popular as the one up Cat Bells, but it's been relegated somewhat, almost to the point whereby when I tell people I'm going up King's Howe, they ask me where it is. Well, it's up there. Although there's no way I'm scrambling up that slope. Well, that's fine. I don't need to. There's a lovely little circular walk from here. From the Bowderstone car park, we'll go up past the Bowderstone itself. Before going up the Borrowdale side of Grange Fell. Having enjoyed the views at the top, we'll visit the King's Memorial Stone before returning via a steep stairway down through the woods. And hopefully, I'll discover just why this wonderful little walk has fallen out of favour. This, of course, is the Bowderstone. 1200 tonnes of andesite lava that came crashing down that hillside about 13,000 years ago. Or did it? There are geologists who will tell you that that is an erratic. In other words, it was dropped by a melting glacier uh, as it passed through here roughly again about 13,000 years ago. It isn't only the geological debate that's caused controversy. A little over 200 years ago, this whole site was turned into a tourist attraction. Over the years, the stone has been the subject of much debate and not a little mockery. So much so that the story of the Bowderstone is worthy of a video in its own right. So for today, I'm just passing it by, but I'll be back in a day or two to tell all. We leave the Bowderstone by this rocky path which leads down to the main road. It was originally built for carriages, but I don't think anyone would like to bring their stagecoach along here nowadays. Talking of stagecoaches, a number 78 will be along in a minute, so best be quick. A couple of hundred yards further on, and that signpost shows our path up the fell. It's not exactly a grand entrance. The path's a bit wet, but it's visible enough. Five minutes of walking up the fell later, and we reach this wonderful old yew tree. Goodness knows how long it has stood here, but it's a tree with real character. It's a yew with a view. Do you know, as we walk up into the woods, I'm beginning to understand why this walk has lost popularity. I mean, there's, there's hardly a signpost around, so it's not terribly easy to navigate. It's a rough old track, a bit narrow, steep in parts. But all that having been said, it does have this superb view of Borrowdale. Now we need to swing left by this gap in the wall. Again, there's not a sign around. You go up between that outcrop of rock and the fallen tree. The path's boggy. It's virtually hidden in the mud. As I say, not a marker post in sight. The thing is, it's not a long walk, but it's, it's not terribly demanded either. But it's not the nicest. I mean, the main views behind us and scenically, Grange Fell is just not the prettiest stretch of Lakeland. You see, personally, I enjoy this walk. 
But I think for many leisure walkers, it could be quite off-putting. Anyhow, this is the last rocky scramble to the top. Right, we've still got beautiful Borrowdale behind us. But from now on, this ceases to be a one-view walk. Because just over the rise of that hill, it's a little gem. What you're about to see is the reason why this walk used to be so popular. That's still water. One of the things you notice up here is the variety of the scenery. That's Grange Fell, a landscape of heather-clad rocky outcrops separated by boggy troughs. A direct contrast to the steep-sided slopes of the mountains surrounding the Borrowdale Valley. That's Castle Crag, a prominent rocky outcrop and one that has not lost its popularity. The unmistakable outline of cat bells dominating the western shore of the lake. The point is that we're at a geological crossroads. Borrowdale Volcanics to the south, with the older Skiddle Slates to the north. And King's Howe is on the dividing line, or close to it. The contrast between the two is fascinating. It's just so awe-inspiring. What a wonderful place to sit, have a picnic on a fine day. It's it's a wonderful place to come in the evening in the summer for a bit of landscape photography, the light on the hills and so on. It's a super place to bring your children, in actual fact, for, to learn about the fells and the fact that hills aren't just straight up and down and, and easy paths that there's rocks and you've got to take care and watch where you put your feet. I think it's a shame it's lost its popularity. I think it deserves a lot more recognition. Right, a choice to make now. Which way to get down? You see, normally what I do with these videos is I bring you up here, I show you the path up, show you the views at the top, talk about a bit of history, other interesting stuff. And then once we're at the top, I leave you to get down on your own. That's it. But uh, not going to do that today because in actual fact, uh, the route down uh, is part of the adventure. If you're not very safe and secure on rocky scrambles down if you don't like going down on your bottom if you if your shoes aren't very good and they slip from under your feet or if you just don't like heights then what I suggest you do is go back the way we came um, seriously because um, the route down is great fun but it's not for the faint-hearted and uh, it starts with a rocky um, path that runs down through the heather it's quite wet, it's quite steep, and you get a little bit that levels out, and then you've got another rocky bit down, and then it's a bit boggy, and, and then a long staircase down the rock, through the woods. It, it's full of, of variety, and it's great fun to do, but if you don't like that kind of thing, I would turn around and go back the way you came. I know which way I'm going. Right, as you come down the fell here, you've got beautiful views over there towards Dome, Water, Skid, or Blancathra, over towards mountains of the Central Fells, you've got Hellvel in there and, and uh, Nethermost Pike. It's very easy not to look right at this heather-clad rock face to a rock with an inscription on it, but it's actually quite important because it tells you why this is called King's Howe. Let's go and have a look. It says, in loving memory of King Edward VII, Grange Fell is dedicated by his sister Louise as a sanctuary of rest and peace. Here may all beings gather strength, finding scenes of beautiful nature a cause for gratitude and love to God, 
giving them courage and vigour to carry on his will. I think that says all we need to know, really. Always quite glad when that section's finished to be honest with you it's uh, coming down there it starts to get to my knees the old newness has worn off all we got now nice little tread through the fields just gentle downhill and back to the cow actually I've just one more thing to show you something most people miss I call this the mini Bowder Stone. Um, it's about for the, the height, about 10 feet high, the other one's 30 feet high. It's what, 10 feet wide, It's um, and it's just a freestanding erratic, a little hollow underneath it. And it just sits here by the path, getting totally ignored while everybody goes over uh, to the other one and looks at and admires the other one. Um, but I, I actually like this. I, I love the way it just sits here in the landscape. Nobody takes any notice of it. God knows how many years it's been there. Thousands. It's wonderful. There's only one thing better than seeing that. And that's a nice cup of tea after a long walk. And the car's about 100 yards over that rise. So it's been a wonderful day. If you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to subscribe. Because we're going to bring in, bring in you lots more great Lake District scenery this year. And... Things like the iconic stones and the Bowder Stone and stunning scenery. It's all waiting to be there for you to watch and come and experience for yourself. This is what we want you to do. Come and have a look for yourself. So until next time, stay safe.